that love with Pat's two cents, one more little nugget that has been on my mind. You women, I know I talk about this a lot, but it's because it's such a press, a pressing and abundant issue everywhere you turn. Women are being beaten and battered by men. And they stay. Now check it out. Do you know that's a form of idol worship? Hmm? And some of you men who allow women to mistreat you in public, disrespect you in public, just cause, just wreak havoc and, and always bring drama to the scene. Guess what? They're blaming you. They're fussing at you. They're arguing with you, male or female. And you're just taking it. They're hitting you. They're pushing you. They're punching you. Throwing things at you. Cutting up your stuff. Calling you. T telling you you're not even a man in public. Calling you a wimp in public. Or a man slapping you and knocking you to the ground and punching and kicking you. And you're pregnant with his child. And you stay. That is idol worship. It's not all fear, baby. Because you find yourself bending over backwards to please that abuser. And here's the thing. Some of you bend forward, male and female, to appease your so-called lover. Hmm? And when you bend over, guess what they do? They rear that foot back and kick you right in your behind and knock you flat on your face and then command that you get up and serve them and meet their needs and please them and come to their beck and call because that's all you're here for. It's for them. You know, you're not good for anything else. You might as well serve me, baby. And you're doing it. That's the part that shows its idol worship. If you feared God more than you feared them, and you went to God, what do I do, Lord? And God said, leave now. Don't pack a thing. Don't take any money. Don't grab a thing. Walk out the door. Run out the door. Get in the middle of traffic. But run, baby, run. I, I, I can't. I can't do that. He'll, he'll be upset. Well, I can't. Now, this is the man now talking. Well, I, I, I can't do that. I, I'll lose her. But what are you losing? And who cares if he gets upset? Who are they? Cease from man whose breath is in his nostrils. Quit it. You put God on the throne where he belongs. And no weapon formed against you will prosper because your faith will be in the right place. Your priorities will be lined up more correctly when you put God first in your life. You getting ready to go to church and all of a sudden he's horny and he wants to screw. Sorry, baby. That's got to wait. I got to get to church. Come on with me. And I'll make it good to you when I get home. But no. What do you do? Oh, baby. I really wanted to go to church. And then what does he start doing? Laying the guilt trip on you. Yeah, I knew that, that them church folks would come first. Well, what about your man? What about your husband? Doesn't the Bible say obey? Hey, listen, don't even go there. The Bible doesn't say for the husband to railroad the woman. And the woman's just a kowtow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Pay homage to your every need, your every whim, your every desire. Stop it. It makes me want to slap both of you. Okay, I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm calm. And I love you. I'm not talking out of being mean or judgmentalism. I'm not even trying to put you down. Just trying to open your eyes to what God sees and what idol worship really is. <laughs>